Well, hello there, everyone. Here, tell you about right here is like for the elementary uh, science uh, activity right here. As you see right here, is uh, I would hand you right here is a say a picture, say a say a volcano. It is is like a, you should call it. You know, also is known as a sketch right here of a volcano. And uh, basically, that uh, the typical type of stuff that uh, that I learned, of course, in the, the fourth grade, it was over there at the elementary school that they uh, doing a. You know, they had you doing like which calls like your know, homework study, you know, basically talking about volcanoes it was. And um most of the time it was like that uh, with that uh, the volcano that if you were to uh it, you know, do uh, research about the volcano and I remember that uh not the fourth grade but it was the fifth grade it was. The fifth grade to where that they actually uh, would you know do projects. It was in science class that they would have pro do projects to where that uh, I don't know what the volcanoes would be made out of. But I think you know cardboard plastic that we would made like a uh, you know these cardboard uh, you know cone you know type of you know, example you know volcanoes and and I don't know if it's really a measure about the chemistry or anything like that you know for that I can remember that when you walk into the classes and. And then they would be doing science science projects uh, to talk about volcanoes. It was, and um, knowing about you know for volcanoes, go ahead and write it. So I go ahead and write it right here below the the line right here. You know for a vol, uh, you know volcano. So you got right there is the is the A, and then of course it's like you know A is like you say vertical or is it something like you know vertical is auto or anything like that. But anyway that. Uh, you have about you know for a volcano right here. We would be doing science projects a lot of times, and then, and but one year we were doing science projects and uh, talk about the study about volcanoes. And uh, I don't know what what we were using to uh, to show if the lava were to be spewing out of the volcano. It was, but uh, I was yeah, I'm guessing that we uh, you know, we were using some type of a fluid, I don't think it was toxic, you know, they say that, you know, like in elementary schools that uh, it would not be toxic or anything like that, but uh, it would be, you know, a type of fluid to where that uh, it would come out of the top, say, of the volcano. And um, I can remember that uh, my parents and I, and of course with my siblings, and of course uh, with other classmates, that we would be doing studies about the volcano and knowing about it uh, for whenever that, you know, how hot the the lava and stuff that you know that comes out of the volcano it is at uh, how high it needs to reach in order to be able to to, to speed out it is and and I can remember doing a uh, an artistic I say a, a drawing about this on Microsoft Paint you know those couple years ago and I can remember it was uh, my mom and dad both that it was like that uh, yeah that they ask I'm like that the, the I can remember that they asked you know how do you how did you know that lava looks like that and I'm like. Uh, and I told them that uh, I learned to, uh, well, I guess I may have, must have learned in school, but uh, the real answer was more, was um, was basically that I just made it up. And uh, if anybody asks me, it's like, you know, well, you know, uh, how do you know it looks like that or whatever? How do you, did you know that the sky looks like that? Maybe, maybe a place in Arizona, how did you know that the cliffs and mountains and stuff looks like that out there in Arizona it is? And basically, that uh, you know, I think about that, uh, you say something like, "Oh, uh, you learned in science class, you learned in school, or whatever." But on the other hand, too, the real answer to me was I just made it up. So I don't know if I made everything up, but then I made the basically the things that uh, I drew, say on on Microsoft Paint up. But um, I just used for whatever that was available, whatever color that was available, and just worked as much as I could to make it as realistic as possible. It's like working with the, the orange and of course with the red, you know, just to uh, show that type of appearance about what that lava would more likely look like whenever it was coming out of the volcano it was. With the rocks and stuff like that. And uh, anybody can more likely think about with, uh, with volcanoes that uh, they're probably there may be some out there in Hawaii and then of course a few other states and uh, you, know, you know anywhere else that more likely that there's a volcano it is and uh, Africa maybe some places in Africa it is but uh, anyway that uh, basically that uh, and then there was a board game that uh, I can remember that uh, not talking about volcanoes study about volcanoes but there was a, a, vor a board game that I cannot remember the name of it to where that uh, you would line the dinosaur you know you would uh, 
had these dinosaur little characters and then you would move around on the spots it was and and it would be a spot you know to where the dinosaur inside of uh in, inside the, the water you know you know, part of the area, you know, or water, you know, inside the, the lake, and then of course there was another spot to where you would land, say near a volcano, you know, something like that. A lot of times with volcanoes, a lot of times that they remind me of like what you call like a something related to like what you call like maybe a Jurassic Park, you know, type moment it is, huh? But anyway, um, but you have right here is this study about volcanoes, and of course I can tell anybody here that this was like what you call like a fourth grade project. That I was working on, of course, in the school was is talking about the study about volcanoes. It was, and uh, and we would also, uh, you know, towards the ninth grade, we'd be talking about magnets. But uh, uh, other than that, that uh, you know, magnets and of course a few other science, uh, you know, projects. It was, but basically one of them uh, was uh, studying about volcanoes. And uh, and one thing, of course, that I can remember studying about volcanoes was. That I actually, you know, kind of liked drawing uh, whatever I think that, uh, well, you know, what happens to the rock after it reaches, you know, three, uh, you know, three, uh, see, I, I would probably say about maybe, you know, 5,000, you know, maybe not that hot, but anyway, that uh, basically talking, if it reaches to a certain temperature, it is if the rock reaches to a certain temperature, what happens to the rock or something like that, they would use like, you know, eggs, and of course, that uh, they would use you know, other types of food products, you know, to show that, uh, you know, typical science classes, and then they would test all the students. I can remember that uh, they would show you a project in the classroom, and then, uh, and I can remember after maybe a few days later, a few weeks, it is that uh, they would uh, test you on uh, whatever projects that they performed, and, uh, and I can remember that uh, one of them, of course, was the Earth's crust. I can remember that they would test you about the about the Earth's crust. You know, what is this layer, say, of the volcano called, and what's that layer? What's this? You know, what the how hot does is uh, does rock need to reach in order to be able to form? You say purify. You say lava. It is, and and I can remember that the testings that they would give to you. And a lot of times, I can remember that um, a couple of times I was not there. I was not able to be there during the time that they were performing those projects and it was harder for me of course to to, to do it you know, to, to be able to answer the questions on the test it was because with most schools nowadays that they test you for whatever projects that they perform in the classroom that, that they would test you about you know why this happened you know because after we added this and added that solution it was and uh in a lot of ways it's like that yeah that uh you know i uh, the way i think about it, i'm like yeah that uh know now i'm like studying about the volcanoes if i were to be like a you know get like on a you know trivia test or whatever i don't know if i would answer the the question such as you know what is this top layer called or when you know what about the the lava you know what does it look like whenever it reaches at least 2000 degrees or you know any anything like that i think that the most average for most volcanoes that you know the, the lava i would say reaches to at least a, maybe a thousand degrees you know something like that you know, say one thousand i guess if you call it you know nine six you know, you know degrees and uh if it's like what you call it's like the study about chemistry it is is knowing about that the uh, how you uh, you would write that if it's like what you call it's like you know, so far as is for the temperature icon or anything like that so far as is the measure of a uh, of chemistry or anti you know, geology or anything like that but uh, other than that that uh, just get an idea of knowing about about volcanoes and uh, the type of elementary school science that uh, I can remember studying about was talk about volcanoes and of course we did talked about studying about batteries it was battery power and you know, electricity and stuff and and basically, that uh, the projects I remember that we, uh, I can, we've done quite a few of them. I remember that when there was a quite a few of them back in the uh, back in the year, you know, 19, uh, 1993, That there was a quite a few projects, of course, that, that I did over there at the elementary school I went to. Uh, you know, two of them it was, and that uh, knowing about that, uh, that yeah, that there was at least uh, you know two projects that uh, at least uh, that there was one or two projects that of course that. Uh, that uh, doing it like time and one of them was about volcanoes but then the other one of course was um about yeah that study about batteries and stuff but uh 
you say over there at Cosley, I think, you know, Cosley Elementary School was, and then, of course, uh, you know, another elementary school was Fairmont. But anyway, that uh, back in, like, 1993, 94, 1994, that we were doing studying about volcanoes. And uh, knowing about that, that, they would, you know, give you uh, homework to do to take home and then telling you what's this called, what's that called, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I can remember that, uh, well, you know, I don't know what this is called. And, you know, I, uh, that they, uh, Sometimes at the work that they gave you, uh, I, I remember that a lot of times, sometimes the work that they gave you, they gave you a, a choice if you want to go ahead and they would have the answers all lined up, you know, between A, B, and C. Yeah, I can remember this, that uh, they would have, uh, you know, the alphabet letters, you know, A, B, and C all lined up for the answer, you know, the answer, you know, I guess you want to call the answer ping or anything like that, that, that you would... Uh, you put on there and you know, for the answers and of course with the questions of course match up you know which one is the crest and so you say for the for the earth's crest and of course if you want to call another part you say is you know that the the limo uh, the 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 le the, the lemon uh, if you want to call it this part you know the lemon rock or anything like that you know lemon rock or or something you know for what the volcano is made out of but uh Anyway, that you have right there is the study about volcanoes. But basically, that I remember that uh, on Microsoft Paint that I can re remember working at back in you know 1996. It was that um, I would uh, be working with different colors. It was so you'd be working with uh, is uh, the orange, um, orange and the red, and then I would just uh, be working with uh, the paint controls about you know draw drawing these different uh, drawing the way that the lava would be working. And I remember. Uh, you know, it's like uh, parents ask me, I'm like, uh, how'd you know that lava look like that? And I'm like, well, I guess I learned in school, but really, the thing I learned, I guess, in school is basically talking about, is like the study, about knowing about that, that, that yeah, you know, they were talking about this in class, and uh, knowing about the, you know, the study about volcanoes, about how they work it was, and uh, knowing about that, that, that yeah, that, that you know, you cannot remember what this is called. You can't remember what that, you know, you don't remember what it does after you add this solution or anything like that. And you know, knowing about that, the, the fact about, you know, the, you know, whenever the, the, the pressure gets real high or anything like that, and then the volcano explodes, you know, it explodes, you know, it erupts, I guess you say, you know, it erupts and all the, all the ashes and the lava come out, pouring out from the top of the volcano. And then from there, and then it starts pouring out. And uh, if most of us remember, like you see on one of those movies, it is, is that uh, with, the, with the lava, it's like it reaches to a real certain temperature to where it can melt uh, plastic uh, and then uh, melt metal. And then, of course, it can melt uh, about, you know, by any other material. It's like other than concrete. It's like it, you know, it reaches to a certain temperature to where it begins to melt, you know, and destroy any objects. Of course, it's around. And uh, knowing about that, the what does lava look like? Uh, you say do the experiment to where that. What does lava look like whenever it's within a certain feet away? It is whenever it reaches a certain distance to where it starts cooling down. It starts, you know, turning kind of like a brown and black, you know, type look. And um, but other than that, that uh, the study about volcanoes. It is. It's like for the elementary sky, <laughs> elementary science. It is that this is basically what I learned to. Uh, of course, in the fifth grade, uh, in the fourth grade, uh, did a little bit of studying, of course, in the eighth grade, too. But this is basically what I learned to say in the elementary science. It was, I can remember that uh, it's like they would give you homework to do. And a lot of times, those projects, it was, if it was basically talking about the, uh, the Indians or where, that uh, knowing about that, uh, anything basically that they would be doing in class as it is. And, uh, the projects, of course, it's like, hey, that looks neat looking, and like just talking about the studying about the volcano, about how it erupts, and then, of course, about the, how the, the lava comes out. But then, if they want you to complete a test, if they want, if they're going to be testing you later on about the, you know, what happened after we added, a, which is, you know, the fried egg, you know, to the to the boiling up water, it was. If it was raining, of course, and then. Uh, and then, uh, and then the, you know, the volcano erupted. You know, what caused, what happened to cause this to happen, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I would, uh, I think, if I can remember right, the answer I would usually get was, well, more likely because uh, it was just too much pressure, or you know, that the the, the rock got too hot, or you say that it was a, uh, you know, that uh, the it it 
it fell down, it fell too below the Earth's surface or anything like that. But anyway, I would suggest to anybody to know about that. Between me, is like the way I learned, you know, how to use how this stuff, and I don't know if there's really a right or wrong way of how to learn that, you know, to study about the volcano or about you know the ocean tidal wave or anything like that. But basically, to know that uh, that really that. Um, if you're going to be tested on this stuff here, as you know, is that I guess the best thing you can really do is answer the questions as best you can, other than the fact about putting too much pressure on the mind, such as if uh, us uh, adults were to be following our taxes and it was asking you questions related to, like, you know, anything related to, uh, you know, for, you know, self business uh, property or any type of real estate properties or anything that, uh, you know, you don't know what they are, it is, and basically that uh, any questions that they answer that, that they ask you that it's like that the type of answer that they give to you almost like it, it seems like that that you know anything that you write down on the test it is that they give you a grade well you know that there was a lot of false information of course from the test it was that, that you did not answer the questions uh, properly and then that you know there is your grade and uh, and uh, anything related to projects such as volcanoes and uh, I can uh, name a few other projects too, such as studying, I guess, about, you know, about the, about the, you know, see here. One of them, of course, was batteries. I think we'd done a project studying about worms and stuff like that, about, uh, you know, we did other projects uh, yeah, about that, uh, yeah, you know, about the, the desert, uh, uh, you know, a few other things, studying about rocks as well. And then, of course, the Indians and, you know, did a few other projects too. I don't think I participate in all of them, but uh, anyway, we talk about with volcanoes, though, is so far as, you know, if you're tested on any stuff about knowing about how the volcano works, it is, is knowing about, you know, the best thing you do is really answer, say, the questions, say, the, for the best of your knowledge, is so far as talking about, is like, really, is that the best you can really ask for? Or in that for talk about is for the elementary science, you say, coloring project.